Hi, Mary Baxter here from my Airbnb room in Vienna, Austria, where I'm continuing to work on a video series about intuition. I've started out uh, teaching about pendulum dowsing, and some things have happened to me on this trip that really made me think about how I'm using my intuition uh, along with the pendulum or muscle testing. And so this video is about asking questions and there's going to be a, more than this one on this topic because how we ask questions with our intuition is really important. And I just learned something the hard way so you know how uh, something comes up you're asked if you want to do something or if you can do something and you get an immediate flash feeling an answer um, that's really clear to you and so then if you're me recently it's like oh i don't want to make somebody else feel uncomfortable by saying no right away and and maybe i'm wrong so I'm going to check on it later. So my initial response, what I felt, what really felt right to me, um, was to say no to a particular request. And instead of just doing that, because I want people to like me and I am a people pleaser, uh, later, I got my pendulum out and I asked, is it most correct for me to do this thing? And I got a yes, which was contrary to what my initial feeling, uh, my initial intuition was. So then I proceeded to agree to do what I initially did not want to do, even though I had some misgivings because my feeling hadn't really changed, and proceeded to go ahead with the, the new plan. Well, things did not work out very well. There are a lot of difficulties, a lot of problems, a lot of unhappiness, conflict, you know, things to deal with that, of course, I wasn't anticipating. So then I gave it some thought. And one of the things that is so important with asking questions about your intuition is how you ask. So initially, I had, a, had an answer. No, I don't want to do this. I didn't douse about it. I didn't muscle test. I just felt it and knew it. Then I questioned that because it was not making another person happy. And later when I asked my question, is it most correct to do this? I get a yes and go ahead and do it. So what I realized is the issue was in the question. The question I needed to be asking was, in this situation, is my initial reaction through my intuition, is my initial response of no correct? Then I could verify that with my pendulum. But instead of doing that, I asked a question I already had the answer to. The answer was no. So when I put it out there again and I asked my higher self, my guides, divine consciousness, the divine mind, if, I, if it's correct to do something, what they were saying, what this part of me was saying to me is, look, Mary, you already had an answer. Now, you're not following your intuition. So instead, go ahead and do it. Go ahead, give in, do the opposite of, of what you really want to do and see what the results are. And so I have. So the first thing that you always want to do when you're in a situation and you get a 
very strong intuitive feeling about whether you should do something or not, go with what you feel. And if you do want verification, use your pendulum or muscle testing to verify that that feeling, that first intuitive guidance has come to you from your higher self and soul, from the divine mind. Ask that. Don't ask the question as if you have no idea because then you're really thwarting your intuition, challenging it, acting like you didn't have an answer and nothing ever happened. So that's a lesson that's really come home to me and I just wanted to share that with you. So until next time, when we'll look a little further into how we ask questions, um, give it some thought. Trust your intuition. And if you have any question about it, use a pendulum or muscle testing to verify the correctness of what you've already intuited. Bye-bye.